I, I sleep talk. Not only talks in her sleep, but she like argues in her sleep. Wait, are you an aggressive sleeper? Okay. Cheers. We're the Potash Twins. We travel the world doing what we do best. Playing chart topping jazz. And obsessing over great food. And bringing our friends together for both. That's drooling, not grueling. <laughs> this is Beats and Bites. Cody Johns is a social media legend. We grew up watching him just kind of kill the game. Dude, the best music is just ripping. A lot of people think that music is super complicated and so much tracking and stacking, but we just did it with three instruments. You know what I mean? So good, doesn't matter. Hey, Shirley! Oh my god! Hey. Shirley Chong is an amazing chef, really close friend of ours. We're so happy to have her here in the studio. We rooted for her her whole Top Chef career. What did you bring us? I brought you guys bubble tea. Okay, so I have some taro flavor. There's a mung bean one, right? Yeah, so mung bean was custard. I don't think I've ever had mung bean in a bubble tea before. Mung bean slushy was a custard. It's the best combination, at least for me. Okay, I'm just gonna dive into this. You know, us Chinese, we always like to play with textures. Mm. So bubble is a texture, jelly is a texture, and that's like a creamy texture. Wow, this is so different than anything. I love the texture of the mung bean. Like, I love how like slightly chalky it is. But I've never had it with the with the egg custard, and it's like, it's like rabbit. Poof, blow your mouth. I know. Oh. I didn't even know what to think when I was drinking. Right? Okay. I was like, wow. This is basically like cubed up flan in a mung bean puree, right? 100%. Sure. I have a challenge for you. People always do this to me. Inspiration based on bubble tea, mm. different texture, mm. different flavors, create music. I heard some taro in here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that has so much mung bean in there. Right? So much mung <laughs> Give bean. Give me something velvety. Okay, something right, velvety right. representing a custard. Right. I can't believe we just did a mung bean song. Love the bubble tea, but we're ready for a real meal. I love that you swung by, because I know we're going to Brooks restaurant after this. Brooke is like an insane chef. She's kind of blowing up all over LA. She has seven places now. I joke about it. She's my idol. She's been cooking since a little kid. Brooke is like a chef prodigy. Like everyone hears about the musical prodigies, well, but it's weird to hear it about chefs. And our oh, friend yeah. Cody's. Oh, you guys are yeah. too kind. You I mean, if anyone's kind. a prodigy here, it's me. So, I don't <laughs> Wow. So, Cody, no. <laughs> is there like a divorce for twins? Is that possible? <laughs> oh, wow. He wants, he wants I'm, out. Hi, I'm getting it. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I'm so excited to get Cody with Shirley and Brooke because they're all rising stars in their own right in each individual realm of the world they're in. So we've got oysters. That's our hot sauce. It's more sweet than spicy, but it is habanero. And then we have calamari and there's rock shrimp and clams in there too. Oh, I love rock Pretzels with cheese sauce. You're like fancy, fancy pretzels. <laughs> crab claw pops. So oh these are God. like, they're like, like a the crab cake. Something? Yeah, yeah that's something. <laughs> Oh, you gotta slurp no, it. No, 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 no. Slip it. Put it back yeah. now. Teach me. Just go like this. Yeah, you gotta get the liquor in there. Yep. Mm, the <laughs> We're Bravo holics. We're mega fans of Top Chef. At what point did you guys become friends? Well, I think it started off we're sleeping on the same bunk bed. I, she I talks in talk. her sleep. Not only talks in her sleep, but she like argues in her sleep. sleep. Legitimately, she'd like be screaming and punching her pillow dead <laughs> asleep. Wait, are you an aggressive sleeper? Uh, wow. I, I, like, apparently, I have no idea. If there's only three yeah. people in the world ever heard me sleep, huh? One is my mom, one is my husband, and the other one is Brooklyn <laughs> Lisa. Oh, welcome. Oh, I mean, <laughs> as a chef, like, your life is already grueling in general, but what you're, is it like when you're under the pressure of like being on a TV competition? Show? I would just be grueling over Padma the whole time. So I That's just... drooling, not grueling. <laughs> What's the most awkward encounter you've ever had with fame since you've left Top Show? When I was getting a spray tan for that <laughs> shoot that I was doing in Mexico, almost virtually completely naked, standing there getting a spray tan, and the woman like stopped and was like, oh my God, I just realized who you are. <laughs> And I was like, right now? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's great. She oh was like, God. oh my god, can I get a picture with you? And I was like, right now. Can we finish yeah. doing what we're doing? <laughs> that's amazing. 
Brooke, Shirley, and Cody. It's a treat to really bring these people together. They're not only just close <laughs> friends of ours, but they're amazing at what they do. They're so passionate. Shirley Chong is an amazing chef. We rooted for her her whole Top Chef career. Brooke Williamson is turned into a Top Chef winner and a Los Angeles restaurateur queen. We get to eat her food now since we recently moved to LA and she invited us to a restaurant, Ply Provisions. Cody Johns is a social media legend. We grew up watching him just kind of kill the game. Vine, Twitter, YouTube, he just kills it. It's just crazy, like social media, you learn about people's stories and what music does and what food does to bring people together. I really feel like creative people really feed off of other creative people. Where do you find inspiration for the food that you cook? I just grew up, love to eat. As a little kid, I remember, I literally put like, I put rocks in my mouth because I wanted to know the texture. Rocks. I didn't do that. <laughs> That's like how I learned the world really, through my I'm mouth this really year. You're a super curious eater. You wanted to know what's yeah. the texture exactly. of the rock. Passion, it comes with burden. It's not just what you love can carry you on. And then you need to realize that. You make sacrifices. Exactly. For me, inspiration just comes from kind of like what I'm feeling that day. You cannot force it. I get inspiration from traveling is a big one. Everything I do within all of my different concepts, when I'm feeling inspired by pastries, I have an outlet for that. When I'm feeling inspired by seafood, I have an outlet for that. How do you use social media as a leverage tool? Staying relevant is really, really hard to do in the chef environment. They know it's me and they know it's genuine and authentic. Top Chef really gives you that platform to pique people's interest. The only way that someone can consume your food without actually eating it in person is by looking at it and admiring it. It's so visual. When it comes to social media, you have to utilize the one that works the best with you. Like we posted a video with you the other day and people were commenting like, that's so beautiful, you guys are amazing. Oh, I saw that. I went back to your stories to watch that video. I think it's great how all of us, we do so different things, but we're using kind of the same tools to share that with an audience. I'm learning about the food world more than ever in my life just today in the last few hours. We tell stories through our music and our songs. Right. And you guys tell stories through your cooking. I think these worlds kind of go hand in hand more than we think, but it's leveling up. Whenever you put out a new song, you want to top that song. Whenever you open a new restaurant or make a new dish, you want to try to do what you can to stretch those limits and do yeah. something even better than the last. The greatest joy, honestly, for the past few years is I've been working with my wife, Lexi. We just kind of enjoyed filming together. Now we have a kind of a budding YouTube channel, which is super yeah. cool. It reminds me how important family is. I mean, Nick and I really feed off of each other. Uh -huh. One of us takes the lead on this, and one of us takes the lead on that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> diving into this whole husband and wife team world. Yeah. Yeah, me and my husband's opening a restaurant together. You understand each other's lives. Right. My husband and I own all of our restaurants together. Our son basically has dinner at one of the restaurants every night. Cody, you get to work with Lexi. Brooke, you get to work with Nick. I have to work with Ed. <laughs> <laughs> he, and he'll tell you about it too. 